So, the batteries look good, but how will they be installed? The batteries will be attached to the wall in one of my power wall mounts. Now these mounts were custom designed a few years back um, with a little bit of input from the community. I'll include a link in the description below with all the CAD drawings and stuff for these so you can make these yourself and have them manufactured or change the design to your needs. But let's go through the specifics. So we've got a mount, right? Down the bottom, we have a very ingenious design to actually insert the cells and then they sit in there nicely. Now we've got a little tab up the bottom here. Now that tab comes up three cells and the tab just kicks in a little bit here. Now that stops the cell from actually moving off and we've got the weight pressing down this way and it holds it in there nicely. Also, this is just wide enough to fit in between these two black cell holders in order to stop the left and right movement of the cell as well. Now when this is standing up, we've got the tab over the top. Now the tab extends down almost three cells and that's just to stop the cell from actually falling off the mount itself. When you're attaching the mount to the wall, you've got a few options here. Now I've got six along the top and they, I think they're called keyhole screws there. So you can actually line it all up and then put the mount on with the screw holes and then another six screw holes down the bottom. Now this is two millimeter steel and as well and truly up to the task of holding these cells up. To fix it to the wall, I've got some fairly heavy duty screws here. They are size 12, 11 by 25 millimeter with a nice coarse thread. And then they've got a little insulator ring on there as well, just so it doesn't damage my um, powder coat. The cells themselves will be joined together via the terminal lugs here by some M6. 15 millimeter hex head screws and nuts. So standard stuff really. Now with these blue cells here, we've got three cells here and this is where the top of the mount is. And these three cells here is towards the bottom of the mount. Now these batteries are 9.3 kilos each. So they carry a fair bit of weight. Now I wouldn't want to rub through one of these cells. Now the entire cell is negative until you get to the positive side. So there's a very good chance that we could actually have one of these cells short against the case and potentially cause a problem and short circuit. So none of these cells are connected and it just allows for that extra layer of safety out of the workshop and down to the power sheds. Now just in case anybody didn't realise, those batteries won't be alone. So they'll be joining another 3,360 cells I believe there is here. So we've got this in 14S. So all these jumper wires in between create a 320p battery now that's approximately 30 kilowatt hours four years ago this has been in service for quite a while but she's still running well so the new cells will be installed over here so i lied i'm not going to be installing it down here but i have another plan now since i started this video about a year ago rules and regulations in Australia have changed for how we're allowed to install batteries and this is my solution to their problem that they've thrown at me. Now it's going to take a little bit of extra time and a little bit of extra money but look rules are rules right so let's follow them to the book. Uh, it's from a 20 foot shipping container that's been cut in half and modified and the delivery driver was able to get it up my driveway and plonk it somewhere over there. It was a little bit of a challenge to get it up here. And to get it up here, I use these machinery skates to actually roll it on some pine sleepers in conjunction with a small trolley jack that I got from the local hardware store. With absolutely no help from my wife other than commentator, spectator, judge, perhaps you'd say. So, how are you feeling today? I'm a computer tech. Don't like the hard work? The Got you know, plenty. I, you know I don't like to work hard, love. Well, plenty more to go. Well, I pulled myself heaps today. Well, you're going to need to do a lot more. What do you reckon? I reckon a little bit more about just near the picket there, in line, and then drag it back. So the plan... 
If you're still with me, she's changing the rules. So how do you propose we're going to get it up against that retaining wall at the back? Excellent. Good luck with that. I'll go back to power wall and she can do the, I don't know, whatever you call this. Is it administration work? Yeah. Foreman. Foreman. Supervisor. Supervisor, apparently. <laughs> I managed after six hours to drag it up here. It was a bit of a process, but well worth the effort. I am a little bit disappointed that before I started filming, I didn't think to clean up and get all this out of the way. But the electrician's coming in a few days time, I hope. So I have to move this tank out of the way. I've got a whole heap of solar rail down here. And old solar panels scattered around everywhere. I've moved a few of them already. Um, and then I've got to move this shipping container back into its place. Um, I still don't know the full details of how the electrician's going to be getting the power in there. But I'm thinking I have to dig a trench here. And I think the Australian law is we've got to have it 600 deep. So I'll probably end up doing that to save myself some money. Actually, do me a favour. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to clean this mess up. So that took a little bit longer than a minute, right? But the two solar rails are just there as a guide. They're about 3.4 meters off the actual shed itself. So they're just a guide so that I can sort of line that up as I'm going in. But it really isn't working by myself. I think it's a little bit dangerous. So I'm gonna wait until somebody else is here to just watch my back while I'm moving it around. I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but you still cut corners, don't you? So anyway, tubers, I'm gonna call that a video. If you want to see what happens to this tune in next time make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and i'll see you if i don't die on the next one <laughs>